Ladies and gentlemen. We got a new standard banner, featuring the Kornosis and Schwartz. And other useful 5 stars. So, does this standard banner worth it to pull? Let's see each of the operators first. First the 6 star and the one who will get his skin soon, we have Gnosis. Gnosis is a Hexa supporter, specialized in weakening enemies with fragile effect. Great to partner with an attacker unit especially if it's an arts damage. Thanks to his talent, each of his attack can inflict cold and then freeze effect. Which is a useful debuff and crowd control. On top of that, the enemy who's inflicted with it in his range will receive the fragile effect that will make them take more damage. And he is currently the most efficient operator to inflict cold or freeze. His main skill 3 can inflict cold or frozen the enemy for up to 13 seconds. And inflict a burst of arts damage to the frozen enemies when his skill duration is over. But his fragile debuff is only amazing if the enemy can be frozen. And he can only inflict fragile debuff for a relatively short duration. But overall, Gnosis is a great crowd control and debuff for unit. But I only recommend you to get him if your damager unit is already well built. If you don't, luckily the featured 6 star beside him is a great damager unit. Now for the other 6 star and the shop operator, we have Schwartz. A heavy shooter sniper that can reduce enemy defense. And inflict critical damage from her talent. And increase other sniper operator attack if she is partnered with another sniper. Her main skill 3 will reduce her range to only 4 tiles ahead. But it will give her a massive attack boost. And the activation chance of her talent 1 will become 100%. Needless to say, she's a great boss killer and that S3 has a pretty cheap SP cost. It's nice that the two featured 6 star are a good partner. Schwartz as the damager unit, and Gnosis as a debuffer and can't stop enemy movement. As for the 5 star, the one who is in the shop is Greythroat. Basically Greythroat is a budget extra. She has a high single target DPS. Thanks to her talent that will allow her to score critical damage with her attack. Although the chance is low, but with her skill 2 attack boost and can attack 3 times consecutively, it should increase the talent activation chance. She can become a great DPS unit for you with that skill too. Although the biggest downside of her skill too is that it's an offensive charge type. The SP cost is around 30, but it's considered quite big for this skill charge type. It won't be a problem if the enemy keeps on coming or you have some SP battery unit. But if you don't, it can be troublesome to charge her skill too. For the other 5 star, we have Project Red. An executor specialist that main job is to stun enemies. And she has a talent that will deal at least 30% of attack damage on every attack. So even against a high defense enemy, she can still inflict decent damage. Lastly, we have Istina, a 5 star Dessel Binder supporter. Got a faster attack because of her talent that boosts her attack speed can significantly slow down a certain enemy with her skill 1 reduced attack interval. And slows to targets as well as having expanded range with her skill 2. So, should you pull this banner? All operators in this banner are considered good. The 6 star E1 abilities are good and friendly for newbie. But only pull if you don't have both of the 6 star, otherwise you should skip it. Or if you don't have a 6 star DPS unit or boss killer, you can buy Schwartz from the shop. But while the operators in this banner are a decent choice to gacha, this banner is in a pretty tight spot right now. A limited banner will soon come in November. It consists of a limited operator and a top tier burst unit. And limited banner is considered more worth to gacha. Because your pulls will be converted into shop currency once the banner ended. So I highly recommend you save your pulls for the limited banner. That should be all. Adios.